Welcome to my channel, Certain Vlogs. Good day, everyone. So, for today's vlog, you will know everything about math with me, Certain. For today's lessons, we will have the nature fruits of quadratic equation by using the discriminant. Before that, what is our objectives? Our objective for today, you, the learner, will be able to characterize the rules of quadratic equation using the discriminant and to describe the relationship between the coefficients and the roots of a quadratic equation. So, let's start the nature of roots of quadratic equation. So, these roots or the roots of quadratic equation ax squared plus bx plus c is equal to zero. We have x sub 1 and x sub 2 as solved using the quadratic formula. x is equal to negative b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. So, from that formula, the expression b squared minus 4ac is called discriminant. So, what do you mean by discriminant? Discriminant provides information regarding the nature of the roots of the quadratic equation. Meaning to say, we can determine the nature of the roots of the quadratic equation by the discriminant, which is b squared minus 4ac. So here is our formula. So, first thing to do is to know the roots and the nature of the quadratic equation. If the discriminant is greater than zero and it is a perfect square, it has two roots, the nature are real, rational, and unequal roots. If there is zero and it is a not a perfect square, or these are not a perfect square, we have two roots, and these are real, irrational, and unequal. Then, if the discriminant is equal to zero or equivalent to zero, it has or it have one real, rational, and equal roots, or root rather. Then, if the discriminant is less than zero or negative number or numbers, so therefore it has or it have a two imaginary roots. So meaning to say, kapag negative po ang ating discriminant, so there are no real roots. So wala pong roots. Kaya tinatawag na imaginary roots. So okay, let's proceed to our example. Sample number one. We have x squared plus 16x plus 64 is equal to zero. So by our formula, formula for discriminant, we have b squared minus 4ac. So first thing to do is to determine the values of A, which is 1, value of B, which is 16, then the value of C, which is 64. Then after this, substitute the given values to the given formula. So we have D is equal to 16 squared minus 4 times 1 times 64. So we have now D is equal to 256. 4 times 1 times 64, we have 256. So D is equivalent to 0. Okay, balikan natin. So, if D or the discriminant is equal to 0, there is one real, rational, and equal root. So, isa lang po. 
Next example, we have x squared plus 6x plus 7 is equal to 0. So we have d is equal to b squared, which is 6. So we have 6 squared minus 4 times 1 times 7. So 4 times 1 times 7 is 28. 6 times 6 is 36. So d is equal to 36 minus 28. D is equal to a positive 8. So it is a positive 8. Then it is not a perfect square. So there are two real roots, irrational and unequal. Next. Example number three, we have x squared plus 6x plus 3 is equal to 0. So the value of a here is 1, b is 6, then c, or the constant term, which is positive 3. Again, what is our discriminant formula? Okay, you're right. It is d is equal to b squared minus 4ac. Again, next thing to do is to substitute the given values of a, b, and c to the given formula. So we have d is equal to b squared, which is 6, then squared, minus 4 times 1 times 3. Then evaluate, we have D is equal to 6 squared, 6 times itself. So we have 36. Then perform 4 times 1 times 3, we have 12. Okay, 36 minus 12, which is 24. So again, it is greater than 0. So meaning to say, hindi rin siya perfect square. So, we have two real, irrational, and unequal roots. Next, sample number four. They determine again the value of A, which is 1. B is negative 3 from the linear term. The constant term is 5. Then, substitute to the given formula, we have D is equal to B squared, which is negative 3 squared. Minus 4 times the value of A, which is 1, times the value of C, which is 5. D is equal to negative 3 squared, so we have 9. Perform 4 times 1 times 5, we have 20. Then 9 minus 20 is negative 11. From this, negative 11, our discriminant, so we have two imaginary roots or no real roots if, it's, if it is positive. Okay, that's all for today. I hope you enjoy our video. Thanks for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. See you on my next vlog.